Hi, welcome back. Welcome for a new video. Yeah, we're ready. We were working last time with our videos uh, focus on the Team Kumite with three teams on the competition. But on this case, now we're going to be working on Team Kumite here. But we're going to look for the Team Kumite for four teams. And we're going to see some differences from the three team uh, on the four team. But it's basically the same thing than the three team Kumite. But you get a lot of different gadgets and, and, and features that you didn't have on the three. And also, it's a different type of competition because it's a competition that is even. So by being even, uh, it's easier to get results. It's easier for a lot of things. Uh, and we're going to see all that right now. So let's start with the Team Kumite scoreboard and electronic system. Same thing. We will be dividing this video in two parts like we did with number three teams. Uh, so let's get ready. Let's go. So we start. Four teams are ready to compete. Remember, we first got to add the teams by going to add teams, right? Remember, we had to go here and then we had to go to insert to insert the information of the teams. I am not going to go through all the details of how to insert that team, but it's basically adding all the information here. If you have any doubts, go to, to the video of three teams and you'll see all the steps when through each one of these. Okay, I'll click OK. I'll click cancel in this case because I don't want to save an empty record. And then, uh, like last time, we already had some teams created here, which is our demo teams, and we are going to be using these so that we don't have to create all four teams for this uh, example that we're going to do today. Okay, so let's go. First thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to click close because we're going to assume we already added that team in there, right? And then we're going to go for team, four teams, kumites, right? So four teams, kumites. And we're going to click it. And, yep, here we go. We got our screen. Remember, this is the 20. This is the last one we did uh, for three teams. And it gives this light blue. When we create the new event now with uh, four teams, it's going to highlight mine is now in a darker blue so yeah beautiful we're gonna add it right here so we're gonna click insert okay we click insert and you get quickly uh a window which is just telling you first we gotta say in what tatami are that teams going to be competing uh well they're gonna be competing on the team number one what is going to be the event code remember this code is generated when you generate your tournaments and this is the event we've been using kts 1010 could be any code the information is automatically filled by the information that you added when you created that tournament we select the categories uh we're going to say that the uh, kids competing in this event the competitors are going to be from 11 to 12 years old male we pick it, beautiful. Now we go to divisions. So in the divisions area, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to divisions and we're gonna pick what division is gonna be competing in this area. Okay, so let's say they're gonna be uh, beginners and we're gonna do now here, we say select. And the other thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna pick the modality, okay? On the modality, we're going to go here and pick that is going to be a team kumite based on four competitors. Okay, great. Select it. And we got the first step done. So now we're going to go to our next step. The next step is going to be going to the first tab, tab number one. In the tab number one, and always remember to click save right save so that all this information is already stored on the system so we're going to go to our first tab and we're going to go and pick our teams like we did on the event of kumite with three teams but in this case we're going to have four teams to be picking them so we're going to go for the first team 
We're going to pick team one. For the second team, we will be picking the team two. For the third team, we'll be picking the team three. And for the fourth team, we're going to be picking team number four. Now, remember, once we do all this, then we pick all four teams. We click save. All the information is stored. Beautiful. Now we got to pick the competitors, all 20 competitors. But always remember, the teams could be one, two, three, four, five competitors. You could decide how many competitors they are. What I'm trying to say is, if you want to do an event of four teams, but the amount of competitors per team are only three, all you got to do is just fill up the three teams. If it's four teams, you fill out the four. And if it is five uh, competitors per team, you just pick up the five. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is when you're doing the setup of your tournament, you could decide how many competitors per team you're going to have. In this case, we're going to be picking the whole 20 competitors, which is, is uh, an equivalent of five competitors per team. Great. Okay, I got that. So let's go. So we're going to pick one competitor here, we start, we're going to pick another competitor here, and we keep going, we're going to pick another competitor here, yep, that's what we're going to do, and we're going to pick another competitor here, and we pick this guy, and then we pick the other competitor here, and we pick this guy. For the team one, we're done, we're going to pick the competitors for the second team. We go here, we pick somebody for the second team. We pick another competitor for the second team. Remember that this could be done scientifically by when you register your competitors, uh, having them on a list or whatever of the competitors that you understand they're gonna be competing on these teams. Or you could just do a sorts, different sorts. Remember that the system provides. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next tab. Tab number two, and we're going to pick the competitors for the other two teams, which is the three and the four. So we're going to go to the team three. We're going to start picking some competitors for the team three. And so what I'm trying to say is when you are going to select these competitors, remember you can use a lot of different ways to picking them up. Uh, when we explain the tabs of, of the competitor picking, we explained that you could do different type of search. Remember the quarry down here and a whole bunch of different ways so that that can give you an idea of how to pick some competitors uh, in different uh, matters, right? Depending on what is it that you're looking for on these competitors, if, if they are in a list or if they are here on the system, great. So we keep going. What we just did was we just filled out the four teams. We picked the, the four teams, all the competitors, and I did it in a quickly fashion because this will explain very in detail on the three team Kumite video. So if you have any, any doubts of why did I did it this way or how did I pick them, you could go to that video. Next thing we're gonna do is click save, okay? The, in the video number, in the video of, of three teams, we explained how these windows work. And we explained that we could do this manually. We could do the event manually, meaning that we could put the results ourselves based on a scoreboard of another brand. Let's say you have another brand of scoreboard you want to use, but you still need the logic and the algorithms of this so that you could get your event done, you could do so. So let's do that and let's test it on this video. And on the next video, we'll be working with the scoreboards, okay? So great, let's assume you have another display board and it's giving you scores, right? So the first thing you would do is say, okay, these two guys has to compete. And you would tell them to stand up, they compete, all of a sudden, this guy wins, the blue guy. He wins, so you click here, and that will give him a win. And then you'll see the scoreboard and see he won because he got seven points. And by how many points did this guy lost? 
Well, he lost because he only had three points. And we click results. And quickly the system gives you the check, tells you this team is winning. It gives you the score in the bottom and you keep going. Now we go for the second bout. On this second bout, this guy uh, all of a sudden comes and wins also. So he gets a point, he wins because he makes a point, and this guy loses because he got six points. We click results. The system says the same thing, you're still winning. The no checkbox over here. On this fight, number three, all of a sudden this guy gets three points and this guy gets three points they bo they both do a head kick at the same time and all of a sudden they never did another point so they they end up in a draw with no sense shoe so it is a draw when you click it it will add it but you have no uh additional wins so you don't mark the wins and then in this fight all of a sudden this guy wins he wins by seven points right and this guy, uh, uh, he gets a win, right? And this guy loses by three points. Beautiful. And the last fight. In the last fight, this guy wins by eight points. And this guy loses by six points. And what I did just now I created a virtual draw so everybody loses the check mark because it is a draw so we will have to go here to the sudden death competition which is just like a, an additional competition to decide who wins so we click here and we click here and this activates a new screen for a new competition which is what we'll do is pick one competitor from this team and one competitor from this team to fight for the win right and we're gonna assume on this team we picked uh darielis which is just the uh, dario evangelo that's the first guy and here we had carlos so we're gonna go here right and we're gonna look for carlos which we could just look for through the list here see how we can find it and if it is too complicated we just could write the name right and we just click uh search we click tab and yep it's right there quickly we got him quickly here so beautiful these two guys are gonna be competing but all of the sudden you know all of the sudden they fight they fight they fight but they only do one point and one point at the same time and it is no no win so we click it's still no win so we have to decide this fight so what the judges will do is that the judges will go for what they call a hante so when they say Hante, then they're going to pick what team performed the best. So all of a sudden, everybody gives the, the Hante to blue. So down here, you get the Hante option. Once you click it, it disables the other team's Hante. And when you click now result, it finally gives the check to the team that wins. So you're always looking for this check to appear to know what team won. This check is an algorithm that makes sure that the formulas that allows you to know who wins, wins. So that you don't make any mistake when you're looking for the scores. On the bottom, you get the scores that tells you what were the points, tells you this team won because of the Hante, he get, they get an additional win. So they got three to two and 28 to 28, team blue wins. That's it, that's done for now now we could go to the next let's just click save just in case we're going to go to the next bout the next bout is going to be between the team blue three and the team red four they're going to be competing now so they were competing they're going to compete under the same uh faction that they did in the other two teams so let's start we made uh we run our scoreboard these two guys competed this guy got five points and a win. This one got no points. He didn't got nothing, no points. He got on zero. So this guy competed and he got a seven points. And this guy got an eight point. This guy wins. We click results. This guy competes. This guy gets a five points. 
this guy gets a two points and obviously this guy wins so we click win all of a sudden this guy uh does not want to fight he feels injured and he just do not want to fight he doesn't like this guy he thinks this guy's gonna hurt him i don't know he just doesn't want to fight so he gets a key can when you get a key can or a han soku which is this is disqualification it's a particular rule that says that the way this will work is you will get zero points and you will get zero wins and your opponent will get one win and eight points so that's a huge hit so let's do it when we click kick in here yep it happened automatically it gave him an eight points and it gave him a one point so yep beautiful it did happen he won and he got the win and he got the points now this fight happened this is the last fight but this guy got disqualified he uh got disqualified he got a han soku so we click here and that automatically gives the other team a win of one win and eight points the end of the day we click results we get a check mark and it says dude this guy won this is the team the one the blue team and up to now everything looks similar to the three uh competition team now these screens that come up now are the difference and what is that difference well let's see it when we click here you see here you switch to more tabs you get more tabs so i click here and now i get tab number three and tab number four see in the tab number three the two teams that so far have win will appear here automatically you don't have to type nothing in they will just appear appear there unless it is a draw and then you gotta pick somebody for the draw by clicking here, right? And that one you do you do have to pick using the button because uh, you don't know who's gonna be the fighter for the draw until a draw happens. So let's take that off. So quickly, we got the same screen, only that now the two winning teams are competing. The team that won in the first round and the team that won on the second round. So now we're going to make these two teams compete. So again, this guy got eight points and he got a win. This guy got three, point, uh, three points and he didn't win. This guy got a five points and he lost. This guy get an eight point and he wins. This guy gets a three points and he lost. This guy gets a five points and he wins now this guy gets an eight point and he wins and this guy gets zero and then this guy gets a point and it wins and this guy gets let's say one point and at the end of the day we click results and let's see who won yep beautiful this team wins this team won three wins to two wins with 32 points in total against 17 points beautiful so now we know who won from these two teams so let's see who wins on the two losing teams these were the teams that lost on the first round and this is the team that lost on the second round they're competing now for third and fourth okay so let's see what do they get so great this guy gets two points uh four points this guy gets eight points and a win this guy gets three points this guy gets seven points and a win this guy gets six points this guy gets a win and eight points and obviously red team is looking very strong and this guy gets four points and this team gets seven points and a win and last but not least this guy gets five points and this team gets eight points and a win and all of a sudden we click results and yep lo and behold they got the win obviously five to zero 
It was a 38 points difference. And here comes the beautiful thing of the program and is what happens once this is done. Now we want to know what team won what. What team got what positions. So we click the tab number five. When we click here, tab number five, it quickly tells me team number one got the first position, team number three got the third position, team number four got a four position, and team number uh, 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 the the number four team sorry got the the number two team got the position number four. So uh, this is very interesting because when you see this. The algorithm to get this information is different from the algorithm to get the information when it's a team of three. Because in the team of three, we would have gone by wins and we would have gone by uh, the points. In this case, we don't do that. We go by the wins that they did under the key. So we click one more tab here in the tab number six and we get the chart. This chart tells us exactly why does this team win. And it tells us, well, they won because team one fought against team two and he, team one won, so it passed, it advanced to the key. And then team four competed against team three and team three won, so they advanced to the key. And then these two teams competed, one and three, and one won, so one went all the way to the beginning to the winning position and then it says the two teams that lost which is was team two on this team and team four on this team went to compete for the third right so this is the logic first second third and if you want to give a fourth then it would be this guy the number two and let's see if that's true when we go here and yep, we got number one in the one, yes. We got number three on the two, yes. We got four on the three, yep, four on the three. And we got two on the fourth, yep, here it goes, right there, there it goes, two on the fourth. So this is the way the system decides for you and gives you the win so that you can know who won on this event. Now, we still not done. We still have the reports that will give us this information right here. And with this report, you know, you're going to get uh, the information, the whole information of the whole event, what happened. Also, it gives you up here the positions the competitors got. This could be the information you give to the person of the desk, the official that is going to take him to get prize. Well, this could be your your your, your document, the 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 proves the prize for each team when they go to get prize. Here you get the information of the teams, the, what happened in the combats. Here you got a uh, results oriented uh, chart, uh, not reflected of who won because remember this is just what happened, but not necessarily who won and we close here and down here uh we get the other part which is the other two fights the first one you get the two first rounds and here you get the other two rounds so here you got the third round and the fourth round and the information also and everything is done with the information of the tournament if you could put it a little bit closer look all the information how beautiful it looks okay it's great Beautiful. Yep, that's the information. And all that could be printed with date, time, and everything you need in order to get your event documented. Beautiful. So that's it. That's it for this video. Now, on our next video, we'll be using this information to do a tournament with electronic scoreboard of ter karate tournament system. Uh, this, is, this was done, but maybe you use it a different scoreboard system that uh, you feel more comfortable, I don't know, you have a preference or I don't know, it just you, you decided to do it manually with, with, with other system, 
But now we're going to go automatically, everything done automatically. All this information will be, be filled out through the scoreboard system. And that will do it on our next video. So thank you for watching and check you on the next video. Bye-bye.